This video is about a sound generator with two tones. Uh, so you can use it as a sort of police siren or also as an ultrasound generator with two tones. This is the circuit, how I've made it. This is the demo circuit, experimental circuit. This is the generator itself. And uh, this is the generator and the frequency on which it all works is set by these two capacitors. And the time in between the pulse is also set by the value from these two capacitors. When this is a big one and this is a small one, you will see on the oscilloscope and you will also hear that a completely uh, other sound uh, compared to the situation when these two capacitors are reversed. Here you see the circuit that's now on the screen and generated by the uh, circuit. This is an ultrasound at the moment and it works on 21 kilohertz approximately. So this is a, an important part from the circuit, the generator itself. And I have to tell that when you uh, change the values from these capacitors to low values, let's say 100 nanofarad, the sound that you hear uh, out of the loudspeaker will be much lower, let's say 1000 hertz or so, or 300 hertz. You have to uh, test that. But here I made it as an ultrasound generator. This is an important part, but this is also an important part from the circuit. And it drives the generator and um, on a certain frequency. Let's say it acts as a certain clock frequency. Here you see the LED flickering. This is the frequency with which the generator can be driven. I want to demonstrate it now. Take this crocodile clip, connect it to the generator. One moment. If only one hand. And now you hear a clicking sound out of the loudspeaker. And that means that this generator, ultrasound generator, switches between two frequencies. And on the scope you can see it. And the frequency on which it switches is set by the first circuit. And that's in fact a kind of clock generator. It's also an oscillator but it works on a very low frequency. The frequency where the driver uh, works depends on this capacitor, this value. So when this is a low value, 0 0.47, it will be uh, a quick switch. And when it is, for instance, 6.8 microfarad, always use a non-polar capacitor, it will be slow. I want to demonstrate it now. This is a 6.8 microfarad capacitor. And you can see now that the clock switches on a very low frequency. And you can also see that here there is switched between two frequencies and that goes very slow. And on the counter you can see where it switches. It switches between, I think, approximately um, 21 and 27 uh, kilohertz. Uh, the strength with which the generator is driven is set with this potentiometer. It's this potentiometer. Here we hear the effects. A little bit. I added this resistor uh, because when I connected this wire directly here, directly from this location to this location, 
the oscillator, the generator stopped. So that's the reason why this uh, resistor is here. Here you find the ways the transistors have, be, have to be connected. So that's all uh, what it is. So for lower frequencies use other values from these capacitors, higher values. This type of oscillator always have